Kalaroga Shark Media. Hello and welcome to Palace Intrigue. I am your host, Mark Francis. Royal correspondent Richard Palmer called it a tweet that will launch a thousand features about olive branches. The royal family's social media accounts have wished Prince Harry a happy 40th birthday. These days, birthday wishes are usually reserved for working royals, but exceptions are sometimes made for milestones. The royal family broke recent tradition by publicly wishing Prince Harry a happy birthday on social media as he turned 40. The official royal family account posted on X, wishing the Duke of Sussex a very happy 40th birthday today. This marks a notable shift as Harry hasn't been publicly acknowledged by the royal social media accounts since 2021, when Queen Elizabeth was still alive. Typically, only working royals receive such public birthday messages. Even more interesting, Harry received an unexpected public birthday message from the official Kensington Palace social media, which shared a simple message for the Duke of Sussex, stating, wishing a happy 40th birthday to the Duke of Sussex. Our royal insider, Deep Crown, explains, The messages were brief and formal, lacking any personal touch or warmth that might suggest a significant thawing of relations. Despite what some media outlets might suggest, these birthday wishes should not be interpreted as a peace offering or an indication of mending familial ties. This appears to be a one-off acknowledgement of a significant birthday, rather than a shift in how the royal family interacts with non-working members. While the birthday wishes to Prince Harry are noteworthy, given recent history, they should be seen for what they are, a polite acknowledgement of a milestone birthday. The royal family is likely aware of the media attention this would generate, and may have calculated that the positive press from acknowledging Harry's birthday outweighs any speculation it might fuel. As always, it's essential to look beyond the headlines and consider the broader context of royal relations. It's highly unlikely we'll see Harry on the Buckingham Palace balcony anytime soon. While some complimented Kate and William on taking the high road, and perhaps using time zone advantages to win the PR battle, others were disappointed in the future king and queen. One social media user wrote, He doesn't deserve your best wishes after everything he's done to his family in the last five years or so, but I get it. Sources close to Harry claim he has become increasingly reliant on his security guard, David Langdown, affectionately known as Langers, as his closest confidant. One insider told The Sun, The guard is an English guy who moved to Montecito with his family. He and Harry are very close, very tight, as thick as thieves. Harry's social life seems to have shifted since his move to the US, with much of his social circle now reportedly curated by Meghan. At recent events, Harry has been seen as more of a plus one to his wife, a source told The Sun. The event summed up Harry's life in a nutshell. He was there more of a plus one than an equal, someone useful for a social media picture. Friends of Harry are growing concerned about his discontent with life in America. Despite a cheerful birthday message, inside his fear, Harry is becoming increasingly unhappy. One local reportedly said, Meghan has a permanent smile, whereas Harry has a permanent scowl. His current routine consists of school runs, bike rides with bodyguards, and walking rescue dogs. Work days are shared with Megan at the same desk, punctuated by meditation sessions. Even social events fail to lift his spirits. At a charity event hosted by Kevin Costner, the couple was described as almost rude for not engaging much with other guests. An old friend recently told the Times that Harry is now a very angry boy, suggesting he'd rather be adored back in the UK. Royal expert Phil Dampier noted, When Harry turned 30, he was seen as being down to earth, the sort people could imagine having a pint with at the pub. It's amazing to see how much things have changed in those 10 years. His popularity has plummeted. As Harry turns 40, the distance between him and his former life in the UK continues to grow. The tight social circle he once shared with Prince William has largely dissipated, with many friends choosing sides in the family feud. Even longtime supporters like Elton John are taking a more distant approach, with the singer marking Harry's birthday by sending flowers. Elton always orders orchids in a white container, and we are coordinating with them to deliver for Harry's birthday, revealed local flower shop manager Philippe Sandoval. U.S. Royal commentator Kinsey Schofield added, Celebrities know when they have to pick one side or another and are saying, we want to stick with the royal family. 
Harry and Megan's Montecito neighbours are reportedly fed up with the couple and are hoping they pack up and leave. One anonymous neighbour expressed frustration, telling the news, I cannot wait for Meghan Markle to go. A neighbour, Richard Miniards, told The Telegraph that Harry is always with his security, whether he's biking, walking on the beach or going out for food. Meghan is reportedly seen even less, though she occasionally has lunch with friends or shops at local markets. In January, local resident Barry Mayer described the couple as a travelling soap opera. He remarked, They live in a considerably pricier spot than others, and we never see them. He noted that while some neighbours seem to have unlimited tolerance for the Sussexes, others are unimpressed by the travelling soap opera or are simply sick of hearing about them. Palace Intrigue. We'll be right back. Meanwhile, The Express reports Harry and Meghan are said to be deeply concerned about the timing of a recent article that painted Meghan in a negative light, claiming she marches around like a dictator in heels. The article, published in The Hollywood Reporter, accused Meghan of belittling and terrifying staff members, further fueling rumours that she's been nicknamed Duchess Difficult by some former employees. The report came just ahead of Harry's 40th birthday celebrations, leading the Sussexes to be particularly upset about its timing. A source close to the couple stated, The Sussex team have had more than enough of these types of articles. Simply not true. Everyone is deeply concerned over the timing of the article because it was published just days before Harry's birthday. The source also hinted that the claims might stem from a disgruntled ex-staffer. There are fears that there could be a disgruntled former member of staff who is putting up mistruths, which are designed to make them look bad. We asked our insider, Deep Crown, about this while we had him. DC said, It's crucial to remember that not every unfavorable article is part of a grand conspiracy. Sometimes it's just unfortunate timing coupled with a media ecosystem that thrives on controversy. Positive stories rarely generate the same buzz or clicks as controversy, which unfortunately shapes editorial decisions. I often say, in the royal media circus, controversy is king, but it's a crown that weighs heavy on its subjects. That said, you do rarely see a positive quote from anyone who worked with Meghan, and I believe that speaks for itself, whereas with Harry, you still hear that he's a good chap. The challenge for Harry and Meghan will be to rise above the noise and let their work speak for itself. They need to find a way to change the conversation, not just respond to it. In my view, the path to public redemption isn't paved with rebuttals, but with consistent positive action that's hard to ignore or misconstrue. It's a tall order, but not an impossible one. For more from Deep Crown, you can always listen to his weekly Insider Report every Sunday, available to premium subscribers. And you can follow Deep Crown's free Substack newsletter at deepcrown.substack.com. And there you have it. If you'd like to email us, our address is thepalaceintrigue at gmail.com. And please follow us on Spotify, Apple, or the app of your choice. I'm Mark Francis. My thanks to John McDermott. Happy birthday, Harry. Good times. Good times.